AI is a technology that anybody can benefit from, and it's going to drive all kinds of industries. The AI will actually be able to innovate and do things that we couldn't have dreamed of 10 years ago. AI and machine learning is impacting all aspects of our life, even without us really knowing about it. Now products are becoming more and more intelligent by using AI and machine learning in order to learn what we as the users want the machine to do. Technology continues to change as a result new applications come about and new innovations come about. And this shapes every 20 years of the technological structure of the world in terms of what happens around us. A lot of technological revolutions actually happen by accident. In the case of artificial intelligence, for example, NVIDIA had set out to build a new processor that was focused on graphics. It wasn't known until later that that same technology could be used to accelerate the mathematics needed for artificial intelligence. And that started a whole revolution in evolving AI much more rapidly. Economy 3.0 was the advent of computers. What has happened in the last 25 years has brought us to this moment where we are going to experience a completely new change, which is the beginning of Economy 4.0. We are going to be able to democratize a lot of things that was only available to a section of the population. When that happens, all of us benefit from it, and it's going to create a very lasting impact in terms of how humans can enjoy that technology. As the tech innovation has advanced over the years, it's driven down the prices of technology. And that innovation is based on economies of scale, as almost every house in the world is starting to use technology. The core devices that make up our technology, the silicon, the sensors, those are continuing to come down in price and that's allowing us to put this technology in more and more devices. Your everyday products, your telephones, your cars, your security systems in your home, your doorbell cameras. There's hundreds of millions of IoT devices that are now doing AI. And as that demand grows, manufacturing will have to keep up. We think AI will actually benefit manufacturing, both in finding issues during the manufacturing process, performing automations, and getting the products out to customers faster. Embed UR has been around now for going on 20 years. We sit behind the scenes helping our customers, helping vendors and silicon companies and technology companies build the products that you know about. It started with providing embedded software for wireless devices, and then eventually it grew into providing software for a lot of connected devices. So today, we are a company that provides customized solutions for all embedded platforms and provide embedded software and connectivity and management software for these connected devices. We started out with enterprise Wi-Fi and with home Wi-Fi. We continue to work on IoT devices, sensors that you wear on your body, AI devices. Embedder has the full suite of embedded software from connectivity to processors to operating systems and drivers, and we're well positioned to integrate all of those technologies together to power the next generation of devices. 20 years of what we have accomplished has given us an opportunity to also become a coach to all the partners that we work with. We're here to innovate. One thing that's unique about Embed UR is that we're here to help our customers realize what they can do with their products. And so we look towards the future as well as relying upon the technology of today to figure out how can we add new unique use cases to society. So we can bridge the gap between technology and teams and bring products to market faster. No one company is able to build the advanced products that you use in your everyday lives today. They depend upon partnerships with many different organizations, silicon companies, users, focus groups, and then companies like us that can add thought leadership to the software that actually drives the products of tomorrow. We're in an interesting transition time right now in the industry, changing the way that products used to be envisioned and developed. Specifically with artificial intelligence and machine learning, the silicon and the software solutions have become so advanced and so capable that we're now able to envision and dream up new use cases that we never thought of before. 
AI models and devices have come a long way in the last 10 years. And what we're finding is that tiny little chips now can power uh, ideas and things that you can do on a device that you couldn't do 10 years ago. In a lot of various areas, agriculture, healthcare, manufacturing, you will find that AI and these chips can work together to solve problems that could only be done with algorithms that had to be developed over many years. Healthcare, agriculture, specifically with agriculture is now we could have drones flying periodically over the crops or cameras in certain areas of the fields to determine when there could be problems and inform the farmers that they need to go take care of it before their crop starts to die. You may have smart tractors that have cameras that can intelligently spray or pull out weeds or find pests and pull them off. As technology has progressed, they're starting to put these AI acceleration engines directly onto the chips. And this allows the camera and the actual sensing and detection of what the camera is seeing to be done all at the same place. So all of the data can be handled locally, which allows much faster decisions to be made. Edge intelligence, machine learning, and the ability to take patterns and then train a computer to recognize patterns and then pushing it down to a device, this is going to be game changing. Another example of this is continuous glucose monitoring systems. These are small devices that people wear to check their blood glucose levels. The technology is ahead. We don't even know what other devices we can actually create in the medical field, but it's already helping. I'm personally extremely excited. 20 years of being in business, it feels like we just started. I call it the next phase, Embed Your 2.0. This is going to be the abundance economy that's going to start upon us. Whoever is able to capture the abundance in the economy is going to be the winner. We're going to be focused on leveraging the core expertise we've built over the years to help envision the next generation of products and help our customers to build those solutions at a more rapid pace so that we can bring this technology to the masses. It's now just a matter of envisioning what we can do next with all of that technology.